That's why I didn't want to be too close. Yep. So we have a situation at hand. Uh, we have, I believe how it went, is the Chevy got stuck while out cutting firewood. So the Dodge came out to pull them out and got stuck. And then the Ford came out to pull them out and got stuck. Now we have the Jeep here and we're going to really try not to get it stuck. Where we're at here, we're out towards Silver Lake, Oregon, which was quite a ways away from my normal area. And the terrain is, looks the same, but is also very much different. Here they have mud, which we don't have back where I am because it's all rock and sand. But out here, it's a lot more volcanic ash. And you see the ground's frozen right now, but as the snow melts and it warms up during the days, it just saturates that ash and turns it into a mud that's like the consistency of peanut butter. It's absolutely terrible. And what happened is, uh, probably went in in the morning when uh, the ground was still pretty frozen and hard. Uh, cut some firewood. Oh, the Dodge has got the firewood in it. So maybe it went Dodge, Chevy, Ford. Uh, but either way, probably drove in while the ground was pretty hard. Then as it warms up, uh, that hard ground you're driving on thaws out and you just break through and, and you're stuck. We gonna get them? Oh yeah. Better figure out how. So what you would think would be most logical would be pull the first one out, pull the second one out, pull the third one out. But I'm thinking, what if I drive around that Ford, come over here, because the Dodge looks like it's probably in there the hardest and it's got the most weight there. To that tree? No. Use this as our anchor. Oh, yeah. So if I come around here and set up right here and run out to him and snatch block back to this truck since this truck is stuck it's a great anchor and then we can pull on that one using this as the anchor to get it out and up here and then get it off over well this is really rocky right here it's probably in this area where it's stable now we have my jeep and that truck to help get this one out correct then we have these two out plus my jeep to help get the last one out if we need help with that too okay i'll buy that for 75 cents i'm gonna hold you to that all right you see if we get that one out then it's just the jeep having to try to get that one out by itself then the jeep comes in and it's just the jeep to try to get this one by itself and then if they're all gone now all i got left is the jeep to try to get this one where we start on this end and you even got a tree stump this will help us get this and then we'll have this to help us get the okay. others all right all up to a buck. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to bring the track jeep, is all this lava rock down here. Yeah, but this should keep them from getting stuck once they get back up on this, wouldn't you think? Because if you get him up on there, he can go out that way. Yeah, so... Or even come this way, he'd be on more rock. How about this? How about... We use that one snatch block enough of this to the Jeep to get this one out onto this solid rock. Correct. And so then, clear that. then I'll spin around and we'll do the exact opposite. And I'll sit here, snatch block off of that one back to this to get it out of there. And then he can get up. And then both of these would be free to head that way and we'll go get the last one. Yeah. And then we'll have three unstuck vehicles to get the last one out. That sounds good. We're making up plans that'll probably change by the time we get halfway through this. Well, it always does. As always, he leaves me at the site. Oh, oh, that's what he does. He runs away. <laughs> he's, he's pretty mean about this, about leaving me. He can't use the GoPro and then he's... I did close my door up there. Oh, good. Well, I can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it was that close. <laughs> I, I was just <laughs> trying to get to this rock and, yeah, huh. foot short. Yeah, it, boy, it's right there. So, yeah. so nobody can say, well, you should have bought a Ford or a Chevy and not a Dodge or vice versa. It's like, should have bought a Jeep. We got all three stuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got all three stuck. So the boss is going to have his coffee before he starts. Now I got to get a thumbnail shot. <laughs> Don't you know how this works? No, I do not. Neither do I. Get a shot for the well now he's now he's gonna do the surround the sound camera everybody thinks i have a drone ask what kind of drone i use i have a camera on a stick <laughs> that's what i have so 
watch. This will be a totally fake drone shot. Uh-huh. Everybody gonna think it's so fancy. When in all reality, it just looks so dumb. And just like to make it realistic, I crashed the drone into the tree. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, nice job. Now people will really believe it's a drone. <laughs> So we're going from the Jeep through a snatch block back to the other stuck vehicle as an anchor. And he's going to run out of rope, I'll bet. Let's see, does he run out of rope? No, no. Yeah, he's going to run out of rope. He's getting close. He ran out of rope. That changed. <laughs> How about I film you doing the job? <laughs> I think that would be great. I don't. People would love it. I never said I knew how to do this. Neither did I, yet here we are. Oh, we need for that. <coughs> Boy, it's nice and quiet out here. It is. It is. Okay, so. Well, from that Jeep. So this truck with the pull point and the recovery ring back to that truck is our anchor. So if I'm going to fire this one up and then uh, I'll go fire that up and put some tension on it okay. and uh, you'll just put it in reverse until I get a good bit of tension on it and then see if you can help because it's probably frozen. Well it is frozen. It's all the ice in there. <laughs> yeah it's frozen solid so you'll probably have to help yeah. Yeah. break it free of that to come out. Back up. Go back a little bit Okay, he's going to hit that stump, but he should go over. Yeah, there he goes. Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> I can't believe the whole of rocks in here got stuck. So yeah. they're definitely frozen in really hard. Yeah. 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 So step in so I can see how to keep it down. <laughs> that is down there. Yeah, they're frozen hard. Yeah. Wow, enough time. Enough time. <laughs> right, I will I'll unhook everything, turn around, and do the same thing on that one. Make it this one. It trickles on this solid rock. Watch the chalk there. Oh no. So Judging off of how stuck in place that one was, I might do an extra line in this one. Do a free for? We got a stump right there to use. Can you see that? <laughs> to show how frozen in place it was, look how thick this frozen chunk of ground still frozen in the rim is. They were in there. I think we'll definitely use a second line off of this. So it's a total catch-22 because we either do this when they're frozen in and it's a super hard pull to break them free and get it out but then they can drive out of here because the ground's frozen or it's wait till the ground thaws out and it's easy to pull them free but you still have to get through now all that mud ash to get out so I don't really know which one is better or worse so we'll do that and then we'll go to the other side here to trip over everything and then back to that stump. Now we'll have four parts of line. 
And so what's the pull resistance now? Uh -huh. What's it reduced by? Every pulley reduces it by half. Correct. Well, yes. uh, no. Because if, if you add another line, it's not doing it by half. It's adding the second line reduces the line load. Right. By half. Yeah. Okay. The amount of force on everything remains the same. So say, say this is going to take 10,000 pounds of pull to get it out. I got a 4,500 pound Jeep. Everyone says, oh, you just use a bunch of snatch blocks. Well, uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So yeah, I can put a bunch of snatch blocks in there and I can make that winch pull 40,000 pounds if I wanted to. But if the Jeep won't sit still, it doesn't matter. Because every pound of force we pull on this is pulling on that Jeep as well. So you can use all the snatch blocks in the world. If you're back to the same anchor point that won't sit still, it's worthless. Well, my theory just went out the window. I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we're using three anchor points now. So the Jeep is one, the truck is another, and the stump's going to be a third. So, well, for even easier math numbers, say it takes 15,000 pounds of pull to get this out. Each one of those is going to have 5,000. No, that's going to have the most because it's got two lines going to it. Oh, so my math is going uh, out. Uh, the uh, easy math, uh, forget it. So. Uh, <laughs> Say there's 20,000 pounds of pull involved <laughs> for easy numbers since we have four parts of line. <laughs> since this has a single line, the stump is going to have a single line, and this has two. There would be 5,000 pounds of pull on that one, 5,000 pounds of pull on this one, and 10,000 pounds of pull on this one. We're not dealing anywhere those, near those numbers, but I just keep changing the numbers because I can't do math. He sounds good. He sells a lot. And by pulling a bunch of line out and getting lower on the drum of the winch, we are increasing the power of the winch. Because a winch only has its rated power on the very bottom layer of the drum. Every layer of line that the winch builds up, you're reducing the winch's power. And I don't know if this particular does. Yeah, it does. Back here, there's a chart on a lot of the hard freight winches. That Which says, you can't read if because you're on it's. Layer two, you're winch is now down to this pull. If you're on layer three, it's now down to this pull. So it tells you how much loss you're getting by a fuller drum. So a lot of times simply backing up so you have less line on the drum gives you a more powerful winch. Or just putting 500 snatch blocks in it so you get all the line off the drum. Same thing. It's so nice how he doesn't make life complicated. No, not at all. I can't wait for all the people who are going to correct my math in that. Oh, I yeah. know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read the comments? I don't very you, often. You ought to. Smart man. Some of them. I don't know very There's often. There's a lot of really good people on there yeah. who actually contribute well. But there are some. I've only put one comment on. and There are I've... some that's just like... Or, well, you were in the towing industry. Yep. Uh, the... Screw in tow hooks on cars. Oh, God. The pull Thank tabs? you. Pull tabs. <laughs> Thank you. The laugh from the other tow truck guy tells you how worthwhile those, those screw in tow hooks are. Yeah, they're are. just pull tabs. They'll just rip right out. Yep. They are designed for a free rolling car to be pulled onto the deck of a transport with no resistance with the line pulling in a straight line. Oh, I thought it was just flat line towing. I didn't realize it might hold on an incline. No more than 15 degrees. Okay. And no side pull at all. I'll actually put a picture in the video right here of one that ripped out and you can see the socket that that screws into is quite literally just tack welded to sheet metal on the back oh, side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, nothing there. Huh. Most towing companies actually have a policy where their drivers are not to use those because many of them have ripped out and then the cars go rolling off a rollback and go off and hit smash into so, another yeah, so car. Those are, <laughs> everybody, you dummy, the pull point was right there. As the owner of a towing company, do you think I don't know those exist? Like, really? There's a reason we don't use them. Did that sound confrontational? Because I'm kind of hoping it sounded a little bit confrontational. Well, this is about three videos of um, technical information. Oh, yeah. We're learning so much today.
Notice I'm not pulling it totally tight while I'm standing here. So now we have four <laughs> parts of line with three anchor points to pull on one vehicle and hook to two separate points. Well, still the hitch receiver, but not all in one single point on there. So if you want to fire that up, do the same thing. Once I get a good bit of pull on it, uh, see if you could help break the tires free and we'll see if it comes out. This one's in park. Yep. Park Parking brake on. on. Okay. We'll see if it stays there. That's why I didn't want to be too close. Yep. Uh, Every now and then, away from the line, snapping. Where did it break? What part was that? Hey, that's what I was wondering. Oh, was the, the, uh, the uh, sna uh, soft shackle. Did the soft shackle pull through? Must have. It's the only thing I can figure. That is the first time I have ever it had seen a one do that. Pull through. Huh. Maybe I should get one of the income shackles instead of the Amazon shackle. That could be a That's wise, why. a wise choice. And that right there is why nobody stands in line with any winch line because parts fly. Luckily, though, these rings. Aluminum rings are nothing compared to a metal snatch block off. with a, a shackle. I like that. Like, feel the weight of this. Like, I know. It's here's a, here's nice. a, a shackle and a snatch block. I What's that way compared to the old ones? Yeah. Yeah. So huge. Difference. This is like an Amazon special soft shackle I have. So I should probably get the like. I bet it was pulled through. I think you better throw that in the trash can. <laughs> Don't use it again. If something fails, get rid of it. Yep. I was afraid the line broke. I was too. I thought it was the line broke. But then I, I looked and wait a minute, no. Okay, we're going to have a technical... Look at the size difference of the knot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, this quality matters. I'm going to stand back a little bit. I don't need any whiplashes. <laughs> any smack? Little more. Boy, he is buried in there. Back up a little bit? I don't no. know. Since uh, this one has a place to pull on it, uh, these I'll put these behind those wheels instead. I would think with all that wood in there. It would still not move, but it's moving? It's moving oh. I wouldn't have thought it would move. I wouldn't have thought so either. It's on them oh, slick God. rocks. It is it's icy too. <laughs> yeah. Well, these rocks are really slick. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. smooth. They're not mm -hmm. jagged. Let's try again. Nice and easy. It's coming. It's coming. Try just a little more throttle. That's good there. Now a little more. Straighten up. There Yay. you go. You can come back just a little more. Turn your wheel hard to the, the passenger side so your front doesn't drop into those holes. He's still soft in front. Yeah, but uh, the back end's on this rock, so I bet it'll back up off it now. Okay. <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see that. <laughs>
That's pretty good. That's a nice chunk out of the wheel. Yeah. There's another one there. I just think it's funny though, we had all three, so nobody can say, well, one's better than the other getting that stuck. It's like, no. We, no. We have all three. But the Jeep made it. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why Mike went and bought it for his Jeep. I left the Ford at home, I parked the Dodge up on the road, and, and I brought, brought the Jeep, the Jeep. to do the job. You know, Jeep, it's like a multi purpose tool. All right, so. So well, it's, it's, it's we're so having a conference over there. They're deciding where the nearest bathroom is. <laughs> so now that we've got these two out, uh, we think the best path to get out here is actually going to be between those two trees and then back over the road seems the, the most frozen hard ground. So I'm going to take the Jeep first. That way it's on that side. If one of these two gets stuck, it's on the side to pull with the yanking rope. And then we'll work on that one. I'll just get my own camera since Grumpy wants to be so possessive of that one. I can see him over there talking. I know he's talking smack. Yeah, I said, look. So I stopped the video. I said, see that shadow there? That's a big long stick. <laughs> Alright, you ready to give it a shot? Yeah. Okay. Go a little farther. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, turn towards me all the way. And come forward. You're right on the edge of that hole. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay, now straighten up. Perfect. Watch it just go. Well, it looks like a pretty decent pass. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Here, give me that. What do you want with this? Okay, how's that? Now you can point two cameras in the wrong direction at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> what? What? Oh, I'm trip over stuff. <laughs> You're wondering why I had the name Grumpy. Take his camera away and you'll see. <laughs> All right, let's Look at the ground pumping under the tires. You want to back that one up to this one so we can snatch block off of it? You're right in the road. That's good there. Now we have an anchor. We came up with a foolproof plan. We're also going to use the Matt's Off-Road Recovery Soft Shackle. Well, I mean, it is a Yankum shackle, but if I say Matt's Off-Road Recovery in the video, I'll get more views. So that's my plan. So. Both rigs are on snow now. That one's much heavier, but that also has twice the lines going to it. So which one's going to slide first? Uh, this the is your one with only one line. Hey, you gave us a four line. Yeah, and now we're doing three. So now do three. Okay, that means this one has twice the load as this one, but it's also a heavier vehicle. So where do we put the wheel chops? One on each vehicle. That way they'll go sideways. Okay, you're you're starting to move the back wheels. Back ones are spinning, the front ones aren't. Back are starting. I think the, the anchor vehicles are coming closer.
Give it just a little. A little more. All right, you're coming up. You're coming up. Whoop. You don't want to drop the front back in the hole. Casey? Nah. Good. That ought to make the, the wheel go bumpy bump. And you'll appreciate this, Mr. Tow Truck Guy. No metal hook. I know. On the end. Just glide around that. Ah, so and no, so nothing sweet. hanging out to get hit or tore up yeah, or the or sun on it. Went into all, and snag something yep. or whatever. It's all yeah. just away. Ah, that's super, super handy. But you see that the heavier rig still moved first because it would have to because that twice line. as much pull on. Yeah. It. All right, ready to get out of here? Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh, well, by the math here, which one are you driving? My car. <laughs> There's three trucks down here. Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we got three trucks out of the mud and three trucks are going to go to the road and uh, I think I better get in the Jeep of Casey or he'll leave them. But right now, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but I am going to go try to get in the Jeep. I don't know where he's going. Look at this. He just wants to show off how this Jeep... He's over there complaining that I'm weaving him off in the woods. I was coming over to get him a step. I don't want to tell you to back up here. We're going to follow him up. I can do all of that once you, you get your nice step into the Jeep. I can appreciate that. Oh yeah! Oh, how about that? Yeah, where's all that smack talk now? What's that? I said, where's all that smack talk now? <laughs> the help I get around here, man.
All right, Jeep's on the trailer, tied down. All the trucks are out, uh, no damage to anything. Uh, we learned that quality rigging is important. Yes. And uh, cheap rigging, no good. So uh, I'll toss out the rest of that cheaper stuff I had and replace it so we don't do that again. But other than that, everything went really good. Yeah. They were stuck, stuck. Just a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there were some hard pulls, but yeah. a little bit of rigging and a Jeep and got it, it done. Good. So you yeah. guys are all good to go. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. No Very problem fun. at all. Cool people. Uh, good job. It was like the right amount of tough where we really had to like think and work for it, but it all went good in the end. So those are like my favorite ones. Yeah. Uh, we found out that uh, the ankle broke soft shackles are yeah. superior. Yes, uh, we found out they definitely are. Uh, I'm going to get home and go through all my rigging and uh, I, I have a whole mix of like cheaper kind of cheaper knockoff stuff that I had from like way back in the day when I couldn't afford anything else and they got me by and I've never had a soft shackle pull through um, that was the first time but it was one of those cheaper ones with a much smaller knot on the end and uh, luckily it was in a situation where the vehicle was stuck in the mud sitting still and not like I was pulling it up a bank or a cliff or something like that and it pulled through and we lost the vehicle down there that would have been Disaster. really really bad uh, so that is definitely something to keep in mind I'm gonna go through my rigging get rid of all that cheaper stuff and uh, and uh, replace it with some more quality stuff because um, apparently that matters which I mean I know but when you have it you just keep using it until it gives you a reason not to and luckily that was a very low consequence reason not to so now we know we learned something and we will make some improvements.